Hi guys, welcome back to Not For Nothing Homestead. I'm Ginger, thank you for stopping by today. If you're new here, welcome. Hopefully you will enjoy the content that we bring you from our channel and you will consider subscribing. It's free, it's absolutely free. <laughs> Make sure when you subscribe, you hit that all bell notification. That way you get notified every time we post a new video. Hello to everyone, and if you don't mind, guys, hit that thumbs up on your way out the door today. It is much appreciated. We are hitting the garden hall. I love garden halls. They're inspiring. Um, I love to watch what everybody's pulling out of their gardens and uh, everything that they're growing, the different ways they're preserving it. So we're in Jarred of July, which is a collaboration hosted by Tony at Kettle Kitchen and Blue at Blue Self-Reliance. Uh, it's going from July 1st all the way until the very last day of July. So you're going to want to make comments on these because you know you're going to have a giveaway involved, right? That is on August 4th at 12 a.m. You're going to have to stay up pretty late for that one. But I'm sure there's going to be some good stuff that they're going to do as door prizes and then some as comment pickers. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go back out to the block garden. So I already hit it once, got a huge harvest out of it. I'll link an iCard up here to show you what all we got, how we preserved it. Um, it was massive. I took five plants and whoosh, took them right down and they're already growing back up and it's not even a week later. So that is crazy. I love it though. I'm gonna preserve every bit of it the best way I can. That's gonna be helpful for us next month and then six months from now in the winter time when we want these things so the one thing that i did not attack when i was out there was the chives okay the chives are going gangbusters when we planted them about three or four years ago we put one in each corner of the garden the reason i did that primarily was for pest control um, apparently pests don't like chives they don't like the taste of them so that was the primary reason that we planted them um, but they have gone out so in the cinder blocks you have two sections that you can plant in if you turn it upright so I have one side that's taken out not not both sides just one that I planted chives in in all four corners and they're so far out that you can't even see that side of the cinder block so yeah I needed to do something with it so uh, today you're gonna get a twofer from me yes a buy one get one free or watch one get one free <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I did whoa what I did with these chives and you're gonna love it and hopefully if you leave a comment you can tell me what you've done with your chives we uh, one of the biggest things about comments is for us content creators we get so many ideas from you guys so many different things that we could do that we could change um, you have no idea the value your comment gives to us um, and also it inspires new videos so there's that as well. <laughs> okay, so let's get to the harvest to show you what I'm gonna do with it. So let's get on with the harvest to show you what all we got and then what all we did with it. I hope you're gonna enjoy it and I hope that you do this as well. All right, let's go. I have a little pile over here in the corner. Um, these were like little tiny thin ones that when I grabbed and cut, they came off with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dice this up and I'm going to make some chive butter with that. Oh, I can't wait to have that on a baked potato. Mm. But this is everything that is about to go in the dehydrator. I mean, look at the piles. See, now I picked all the bad ones and the yellow ones out. And I got a whole pile of them. And I'm still, as I go through, they grow so tight-knit that... Um, as I go through, I'm still finding some. The chives that I'm going to make chive butter with, I'm just going to take them, I'm going to put them in a colander here. I'm going to wash them really good. Get any yuck off of them, but I added a few more to them uh, for the butter. And now I am taking them, I laid them on a 
a paper towel and I'm squeezing the water out. You do not want water in your butter. So we're gonna get all of the water out, let these dry some more. They are nice and dried. So I'm gonna take them and put them out on this nice Pampered Chef little cutting board here. And then I'm gonna dice all these up really good. Have all the chives diced up. I'm gonna put those to the side in this bowl. I'm gonna put the rest of this. It's not a, it's maybe a, a little more than half a pound of Amish butter that I got from the Amish store. And I'm gonna take one of my favorite Pampered Chef spoons and I'm just gonna mash it. You could do it in a blender, you could do it however you want, but I'm just kinda doing this the way, the easiest way. I don't want to dirty up the blender and everything else. So I'm just going to put it in here, mash it down, and then I'm going to get it kind of creamy. Got the butter nice and creamy now. So we are going to add all these chives in it. This is going to be a chived up butter. You talk about chive butter, this is going to be it. Lost a few. And now we're just going to stir this together. I save all the glass jars that I get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put as much as I can in this jar um, to save and put it in the fridge for us to just use it. And I'm going to put this other bit in some, on some wax paper instead of filling up another jar just in case we don't we don't eat it soon soon we have busted out the dehydrator we've got four trays out um i don't think i'm going to need the fifth one uh that's the reason why i didn't get it out because i do have these neat little nifty trays that will catch any of those little skinny stragglers um and i do have a lot but you can you can pack them pretty close together I'm gonna bring you down, let's get this thing loaded. Okay, so some of these are quite long, so I'm gonna cut them in more manageable pieces for uh, putting in a round space. <laughs> All right, oh my gosh, the aroma is wonderful. Just cutting them open, that burst just, oh, it smells so good. We're back. It's the next day. They weren't quite finished last night, so I got up this morning, uh, bright and early, after I, right after I fed the animals, and I got it started again. And it's gone for a couple of hours. I've been out in the garden, gardening, and if you guys don't, side note, if you don't have one of these cooling cloths, you absolutely need one. They are so helpful to keep you cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing has saved me on more than one occasion. Um, but it's time to come in and take a break from there now. As much as I love to be in the garden and doing all the things out there, uh, it's time to come in. Um, it's just too hot. They're done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you. I'm very excited about this. I'm always excited about everything. Okay, listen closely. Did you hear that? Let's see if I can get another one. Uh, they sound like pine straw right now. Um, I hope you heard that. <laughs> okay, so they're they're done. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take them and I'm gonna make them in pieces about this size. And I'm that way they'll fit in the jar better. And so I'm gonna take you over and we're gonna do that because yeah, 
it's too hot outside right now. Gotta wait till later to go back out there if I wanna go back out there today before dusk. Dusk is actually a really good time to go back out there because then it's cold way down. All right, let's take them over and get them all chopped in pieces. For the next five days, I'm going to take these two jars and I've left some space in the tops of both of them that you can see. So I'm going to condition them. You're going to roll them around. You're going to turn it upside down, looking for that space, making sure that space is still clear. You're looking for clumping of this, which is going to be kind of hard to tell with these chives, but I will give it a good once over. Uh, you're looking for moisture in the side of the jar, you know, developing. You're going to look for um, things sticking to the side of the inside of the jar if they've stuck. Any of that is going to indicate to you that there is still moisture in here. And moisture in dehydrated products is not your friend. So you want to take it out immediately, put it back in the dehydrator, get rid of all of the moisture. After the five days is over, then I'm going to use something that I got that is brand new. I'm very excited to use it. Okay, so Four Jars Lids now has available on their website at a very affordable price, I might add, a vacuum sealer kit. So, and this kit there's a lot of things in here. So I'll go over all of the product details probably in another video when I'm able to, after the five days is over, I'll seal them and do a separate video. But I'm really excited to try this out. Um, I do have an affiliate code with Four Jars Lids. If you would like to purchase anything, lids, bands, uh, waffle towels, um, they have mats, they have uh, canning, uh, canning book, an ebook that you can buy. They have these. They have a bunch of stuff on their website. But I do have a affiliate code with them. It is Ginger10, and you get 10% off your purchase. So look for that video. It will be separate, and I will do that once all of these have been conditioned. Okay, so that's it for me here today at Not For Nothing Homestead. Don't forget to check out all the other videos in Jar It Up July to see what everybody is jarring up. <laughs> you never know. There might be something in your garden that you could jar up as well. Okay? So, take care of you and yours. God bless, and we'll see you in our next video.